Last time in Hexen, the greatest game ever subtitle, I got to some place that I don't even remember. Oh, it's just this place, it's nothing new at all. And I got into the barracks, but there was nothing there except a guy trying to get through a door, which... <laughs> he seems to have come to his senses now. I wonder what is in these barrels that they should be stacked up against the wall so... Aha! Uh -huh, a piece of ammo that I cannot use because I don't have a gun for it, yet I keep achieving it. Also, that font... that text that was cut off is a different font than before. So I guess I'm stuck in the door now, that's pretty great. Uh, so that's probably why it's cut off. Now, why did it change font? I don't know! Oh, what? Oh. It, it, the door just opened off camera and I'm not sure how it happened, but uh, yes, my aim as I think you'll find is pretty dead on in that situation. Wow, I'm, I'm back at the start here, which is what I wanted to do when I back when I thought I was interested in reading books, but now that I realize I'm totes not gal pal, I guess I'm not going to care, but I want that weird double ammo thingamabob, but I guess I'm not getting it. Holus! Up here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, it is the greatest thing. Yes, now, now that I'm back at the start, I still need to solve one third of a puzzle somewhere. So, that is why I am taking time out of my busy schedule to come back here. Also, these burnt red dead revolver guys are pretty awesome. But this is just going to lead me back to some other place, or some samey place, and perhaps I can jump in the water. This water looks pretty good. I mean, not as good as Skyrim, and therefore I have cause to complain rather a lot. But, uh, hey, well... Yeah, so there's a book here, in case you're interested in more of those. Uh, don't know what it is. Hid in the oven. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> in the oven. Oh boy. Have I praised this game yet today? Well, I don't know. But looks like I have to get looks like I have to get back to that weird city thing that kinda looks like that section of city in Killer 7 where you have to use con to to you know what I'm saying. Maybe I shot those those boards off of the door. That that could be what happened. I wonder if this one's now. No, it's not now. It's then. It is in the past. Any? <laughs> well, I guess retreading old ground is fine. What about this? Why are all these doors locked and, and not accessible for anyone to even go through? It is quite sad and tragic. Maybe I didn't explore this place enough. It's it's. It might be possible, though I kind of don't really think so. But I must have been led around to the beginning of the level for some reason. Hey, it's a gargoyle statue. I'm sure it means nothing that it's floating. Oh, and also, you, you've got a lantern, just in case you didn't know, it's a lantern. I don't know, it seems like it could be useful in dark areas, but I haven't really found a use for it, but that's okay, because I forgive this game for all kinds of useless items, because it's great. Not like I need to forgive it for just... Oh, hey. Wow, I don't have a save near. Oh, yeah, I did shoot it and blast it, and then it got busted in my face by these guys. Hey. Oh, they're not fire enemies, though. They're just regular guys who just kind of look a bit red because they've recently been on fire, but are not actually now. Okay. Right, so I think I actually did not try this little thing before. <laughs> I have not tried dying. That's a lie I have. So... Yeah. How challenging. I... I... <laughs> Auto run is probably on. No. That isn't even running. There's no difference between walking and running that I can even freaking tell it's... Oh, yeah. What? What? Oh, how could you? Ah! So I'm probably supposed to actually jump down under this and then jump down there. Is what's probably meant to happen. I find it odd for there to be so many... Locked doors that don't seem to ever open. I find that odd indeed. I guess we never get in that house on account of it being on fire. Well, it looks like I'm missing a switch and it probably expected me to have pressed all three switches by the uh, time I arrived back at the start there, but I believe myself to have only pressed two. Am I incorrect? Well, Hexen always was about them switches and the hunting thereof. 
So, yeah. But if I did press the three switches, I'm still not sure what, what puzzle... Oh yeah, you know what? Hexen 1 did have a map because Doom had a map, and this game doesn't. That's why I'm a little confused and keep wanting to press the tab key, but instead another thing happens and then I cry. Maybe I should read the books. Maybe they will actually give me hints. <laughs> that sounds like it could be an idea, but there's also another that I missed that I just remembered. Here we are. Let me have a quick look at these. For some reason, no one can kill a single Etten, whereas... Yeah. Here I am wanting to impulsively click random buttons whilst in the inventory screen, and yet I cannot. Yet Ettons are super easy. Maybe they are only killable by me for some freaking reason. Right, well, that was not very enlightening at all, sadly. I wish I could see my keys like you can see them right there on the screen in Hexen 1, but I guess that's not to be either. Finally, I'm finally getting stuck. Nice grass. It's like Oblivion grass, except hella less taxing, probably, and also less impressive. But it's, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Short doesn't mean bad. Come on here. Oh, man. I, I don't know where to go. Man, I don't actually think I saw what this did. I mean, it's got, like, a chain with a roll. So one would think it, like, raised a chain somewhere, but what would be the point of that? Well, there it lies. No idea. Whoa, 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 okay, okay, found a new place back here. The doors are open. Hitting people left and right. <laughs> Instead of missing. Splat's always making me happy again. Well, here... <laughs> and that is... God knows where. Well, third of the puzzle right on your face. I seriously, the first time it said one third of the puzzle, it was a totally different font that was smaller. You guys remember it, right? How the heck did my fonts change? I don't know, but this was actually the first piece that I should have got immediately, but oh well, no harm done. Let's now look for where that gate is, because I actually have no freaking idea. Hang on. Ah. Well, I think I hear some enemy growling out here, so perhaps they will lead me to the way. Perhaps. And again, maybe not. Oh, it looks like I haven't killed these guys yet, even though I did. Well then. That would be my fault. I like that blowing banner. It's probably just an animation, but uh, animations are great. I like them. Pixar, they're great. Hex and Edge of Chaos, pretty freaking cool. You can guess where those two things fit on a scale. But right now, I'm not going to tell you. Because that isn't the door, because it was a weird wooden door, so I'm gonna find a weird wooden door, and by that I mean gate, and by that I mean, like, spiky thing. Oh, it's right there! Boy, y'all were yelling at me on that one. Jesus. Well... <laughs> nice. I wanna see these Afrits hatch from eggs like they used to in days of yore. Oh crap, my ammo is not existent anymore. God damn it. <laughs> Perhaps I can sort of pretend to block guys with my shield. I guess it works, but then I can't attack. It's the old phaser problem where you have to set your guns to guns, but then you can't set your shields to shields. Um, I, I need I need more ammunition here, as I seem to have wasted it elsewhere. Please and thank you. That would be very nice. But now I must learn to use my shield. This guy doesn't seem to have any resting time whatsoever. He just swings and swings and swings till his swinger is sore. Oh, there we go. Wait. Did I not? What? Hey. Put it. There's, there's, there's a switch here and I don't think I can press it. Or I did press it and didn't realize what it did or something. Probably like a one-third of the puzzle, maybe. I don't know. Anyways. Oh. Are you falling damage? The dragon skin bracers, jeez. But slightly increase armor? Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. What? Oh. Yeah. Yep. Good enough. Okay, here I'm just thinking and saying random words. That's alright. Now I should start watching my ammo. Because I haven't been doing that as of yet, but it's a good idea. So I haven't been doing something that's a good idea is basically what I'm saying here. <laughs> oh, I see. My, I can't hold my shield indefinitely, but they can swing indefinitely on a constant rhythm with no breaks and, and no stakes and takes and anything like that. It's pretty ridiculous. Okay. Man, these should be healing fountains. That way the game would be 
delightfully unbalanced, and I guess this isn't really an openable thing. Perfectly great. What? Get, get up there, you freaking cleric dude that I can't remember what your name is because who ever cared about such a thing? What is the Tome of Power? I think that upgrades your weapon or something. Let's see. Temporarily increases the power of your weapon. Well, that's fine, but my weapon is okay. My main problem is ammo and not really power that much, although I guess power would make me use less ammo. So there's that. Always want to make me fall and take damage to show off their fall damage system. Like, oh man, hey guys, we can hurt you real bad. Okay, this is going back, is it? Fine. Anyway, these bats are hard to hit, so yeah, because they constantly dodge out of your way, just like in Hexen 1. Squee! Anyway, yeah, I should stop saying that. It's probably getting pretty old. Like somebody's grandpa. Well, I was too busy getting my ass kicked to see what this switch did, but uh, I'm sure it did something of use to someone. I'm absolutely certain of it. These things are useless because you put them down where you are and then you get hurt before you get a chance to back away. That's one of the reasons I play the fighter all the freaking time. But, uh, hey, that's, that's fine. Apparently, I read some more on the website, and in this game, what they're planning to do is rather than allow you to choose your class all the time, they're gonna have like three episodes or whatever, each each for one of the classes. That's a pretty interesting idea. And that way they can design it for one class in mind and have it tightly designed, maybe. It's pretty cool. I mean, some of these things are climby things and others are just kinda there. Yeah. Well then, carrying on the path of the righteous. Uh, let us not waste and want not and stuff and well, yes, this difficulty is definitely not easy anymore And also these Etten's seem a little bit more difficult to hit it at melee type of range than they used to be in Hexen of Yore because I'm finding it like impossible. I think they need to be tuned because they just hit and hit and hit and hit and hit and never slow down and It's really tricky to get in timing, but <laughs> basically you either use you use up your health, or you use up your ammo, and none shall come betwixt them. Damn. Come on, I haven't... I, I don't... I, I can't afford to be missing here, come on. I wish you could go in more of the houses, or at least that they just make the doors not go... Because... Because, I don't know, it makes them seem like they're interactive. Those plants haven't burned away for some reason, they're just kind of on fire. But that's alright. People, and plants are people, obviously, can be on fire if they want to. But if they don't want to, well, that's just mean-spirited. And in some of these doors don't go clunk-clunk and they don't work, so that's why I'm kind of wondering about these other doors. But the fire is all up the houses with plants for some reason that are sticking up through the house for some reason. <laughs> I guess the fire spawned them. Uh, are pretty cool looking. Except that one looks like it's spawning from the middle of the air. But, uh, hey. Oh, well. It's a magical, mystical world out there. And we have to expect some noisings. Alright. Well, health and a little bit of ammo and a book. That's quite lovely. Yes. Yes. I love how just walking through it breaks it like, Oh, I want to be the fighter. I'm big and tough. I've been hitting the steroids. Hitting them hard. <laughs> wow, all of a sudden the difficulty ramped up pretty quickly, actually. It's kind of frightening. Maybe I should try to just run past these guys and maybe not try to kill every single one of them? That's probably an even worse idea in the long run. But, hey, this is a proper... I guess I was saying, like, her. there's games to the swamps. Oh, nice. There's games pretty easy shit. And I don't have any health either. Wait, 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 wait. A box of K-Bups. There we go. But... I don't, I don't even have... Hey, get me the stuff. Oh, whatever. Let's just go to the swamps. God. Let us jump out of the frying pan and into something even more difficult than the frying pan. Because cooking... Pretty freaking hard. Let's see what they look like. Ah. Uh, I'm just going to stand right here. And not ever get hit. Uh, see you guys next time when I ever get hit. Bye for now.